Today on Expert Showcase, our expert is Femi Ogojimi, who is going to be talking about finding the right partner. Three things you need to know. Femi, welcome to Expert Showcase. We're so glad to have you on the show. This is going to be an exciting show. I mean, relationships are obviously important things in everyone's lives. But give me a, a, a first of all, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited to be here, Mark. Glad to have you. So uh, for the sake of our viewers, give us a quick uh, overview of what we're going to be focusing on and talking about in today's episode. Absolutely. I'm going to be sharing with your viewers how they can find the ideal partner. There are three things or three steps that they can take to meet that ideal mate. And Excellent. those steps, once they take them, it will avoid them from being single for the rest of their lives, being neurotic, if there is somebody out there for them or not. Well, that sounds excellent. I know there are a lot of people who just perked up their ears and are paying attention. So we talked about uh, in re getting ready for the show that we're going to cover these three things. So I'm going to I'm just going to state them real quickly so people know where we're going to go, and then we'll go through them one at a time. So uh, the three things are where you hang out is critical, how you dress, and then out of all of your friends, which one has a good image in public. So uh, Femi. Take me through these. So the first one, where you hang out. Why is this an important thing when you're working with your clients to help them really have the relationship of their dreams? <laughs> Absolutely. Where you hang out matters a lot because attraction is the first thing that you look at when you're trying to do anything. For mm -hmm. an example, you go to the mall, you're trying to buy an expensive clothes or an average clothes. You buy that clothes because you are attracted to it. Mm -hmm. Now, once you buy the clothes, you have to attract somebody with that clothes, right? right? Right. Once you put that clothes on, you go different places. So if you're trying to meet an ideal person, it depends on where you go. Right. So for an example, if I'm, find, if I'm looking for somebody that is of the same belief as I am, I'm a Christian, Mm -hmm. And someone that serves God, someone that is into church. For me to find that ideal person, I must go to church because that Makes is the, sense. <laughs> that the person will most likely bleed or hang right. out. So if I go to church, I will see this person. You know, the person might be singing or be an usher or be volunteering in any different department. So where the person hangs out matters a lot. So, and before you do that, you also got to write down a couple of things. What do you find in an ideal partner? Or what are you looking for in okay. a soulmate? So once you write those things down, they can kind of guide you where this person might be. Earlier I said, if I'm looking for somebody that is Christian of the same faith, where would I find this person? So if I'm writing five things down, one of the five things I'm writing down is I need a Christian person the person must be in church. The person must be serving the same God as I am. Then that guides me to know that, okay, this is where I need to be hanging out more. I need to be spending most of my time in church so that I can position myself to meet this ideal person that I'm looking for. Well, you know, it sounds so obvious when you say it, uh, Femi, uh, but I, I wouldn't have necessarily thought it through in quite a strategic way like that. But it makes perfect sense, of course. If you've really started thinking through the criteria. So if I'm like a health food nut, I obviously don't want to meet people hanging out at McDonald's, right? It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> I want to go hang out at Whole Foods, you know, or something like that, or, or the local co-op or something like that. And your, your uh, faith-based example is perfect as well, obviously. If I want to exercise, then maybe I should join an exercise group, right? So right. I love it. You know, that makes makes perfect sense. Okay, so obviously... People need to focus on where they hang out, but where they hang out, you know, if you're going to be strategic, is based also on thinking through who you're looking for, who you're looking to connect with, and who you're going to meet. So you use the example of clothing. So let's uh, let's then move on to your second point, which is uh, how you dress. Talk to me about how you coach uh, the people you work with on dress and how that impacts their choice of their future, uh, you know, partner for life. <laughs> how you dress is another critical point. It's a critical step that people need to understand because the way you dress is the way you're going to be addressed. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And people say don't judge a book by its cover. Unfortunately, people do judge a book absolutely. by its cover. Even, so, on a, even on Amazon, they say absolutely spend time on your cover because the cover is the only thing people see at first, right? right. So they are going to judge you by your cover. That's right. <laughs> that's what brings that attraction. That's what makes people say, all right, this person is a professional. This person is not a professional. This person knows what he or she is talking about. This person looks attractive to me. So if you dress in a nice way, Mm-hmm. In a way that is decent enough for somebody like me, you might be attracted to me because that's what I'm looking for. So it follows that first step of where you hang out. You hang right. out in the right place. You're attracting the right person. The person feels like, well, if I'm going to be with someone that goes to church, you must dress in this way. You see, you right. can't be revealing your body. So for someone that goes to church, I believe they don't open too much. They don't reveal their, their body too much. So you attract that person by doing that. So how you dress is very important because if you are looking for someone that is conservative, do you dress in a conservative way or not? If you are looking for somebody that goes to strip club, then you might probably want to dress you know, <laughs> like a stripper because you yeah, are yeah. that person. That makes perfect sense. Well, you know, Femi, it's very, very smart because, I mean, you know, people don't necessarily think about it this way, but your dress is a form of communication, right? I mean, you're saying something by your presentation. You know, if you show up and cut off shorts and a Hawaiian shirt, uh, you know, for a business meeting, you're you're not quite in sync with, uh, with, with, with with the atmosphere that you're coming to. So dress conservatively, you're going to attract conservative people. Dress uh, in a flamboyant way, and you're probably going to attract flamboyant people, right? Absolutely. Makes perfect sense. Um, okay, so now we've got you hanging out in the right place. We've got you appropriately dressed for your your target market, essentially. Because let's face it, finding the right person is a form of marketing, isn't it? I mean, you're, you're trying to craft a message, and you're trying to deliver that message to the right people, right? It is, and you can look at it from that from that angle of marketing because you have to market yourself to the right audience, to the target audience. You know, so right. who is your audience? So, for an example, I was talking about, you know, finding um, how, how to find the right partner. Where do you hang out? Right. So, if you're trying to market yourself to the ideal audience, you must know where your audience is. Exactly. Exactly. So, and be- better look at them. And then market or, or advertise to them and, and position yourself or, or pitch that business ideas to them. Right. And then you're going to dress the part to try to attract the person's eye literally to you as, uh, as a person that they want to meet and connect with. So that takes us then to your third point, which is thinking about of all of your friends, which one has the best image in public. So what are you, what are you getting at here when you're talking to, to your own clients? Mark, I'm sure you've heard of this adage. Birds of the same feather flock together. Right. So what, is, what that is saying is if you hang out with the right people, mm-hmm. you will most likely attract the right people. If you hang out with the wrong people, you will most likely attract the wrong people. Now, let me lay yes. an example. <laughs> so if you have three, three people with you, three friends with you, and you have a girl looking at you, right? and say, hmm, Mark... I don't know who he is, but I know who Chris is, and I know who you know John is. I know these two are crazy. I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't say anything good about both of them. Now right. I'm looking at Mark. Mark is who I want, but because I know Chris and John that they have bad characters, they have bad names, they don't have good image. I'm gonna use that to judge who Mark is. That's right. So, Right there off the back, I'm not even going to have a conversation with Mark anymore. I'm just going to say, forget Mark, you know, <laughs> because Mark is going to be like Chris. It's the same thing as John. So that is the same way it works. You have to look at the circle of friends that you keep. Mm-hmm. How are they benefiting you? What is their image outside? What are people saying about them? If they had bad influence, if they had bad characters, if they had, you know, p- p- people don't say good things about them, then you're not in the right circle of friends. Right. So you need to leave that nucleus and find another person or you look at somebody in that three people or friends that you have and say, you know what, this is the right person that I think is most influential in a positive way that people know that hmm, if I'm rolling with this person, you can give me some credibility. Right. So associate yourself with that person 
And then somebody that wants to date you or wants to be with you can say, well, because I know this person, I can then talk to this other person because this person that I know has a better character, has a better image. People say good things about that person. So that is just the same concept of the way it works when you're trying to find the ideal partner. Well, it makes perfect sense, Femi, because it's a, it's a logical extension of your first two points, where you are, how you look, and then the people you surround yourself with, again, is a form of communication, right? These are these are my guys. These are my people. Or, you know, th- these this is my posse, right? These are the... That's right. You, you can... They, they sort of vouch for me just by being around me. Yeah. And there's, a, there's an added benefit, right, Femi, which is that, of course, they might introduce me to the right person because we're right. all in the same circle. And so... It's it's kind of by extension. They may have connections of similar people that I'm going to be compatible with, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's just like saying if if I were single now and I have a lot of friends that are married, where well, I'm looking forward to somebody that I can also get married to. So mm-hmm. I'm in the right circle of friends because right. they know single people that you know they are looking for the same thing as well. So it's easy that way that when you surround yourself with people of positive mind or people that, you know, like minded, you definitely get the right people or the yeah. right person, you know, that you are looking for. Makes perfect sense. And I'm really enjoying, I mean, I, I hadn't really thought about it before we started this com- conversation, how absolutely in harmony everything you're talking about in terms of, you know, coaching people about relationships is so much the same as marketing. Never thought about it, but it's, it makes perfect sense, of course, because you are marketing yourself. You are trying, you are the product and you are trying to connect uh, to someone that you want to spend time with. It makes perfect sense. Uh, well, That's the way it works, Mark. Absolutely. So I'm about to tell people how they can get in touch with you, Femi, because I think there's probably at this point a bunch of people who want to get in touch with you uh, <laughs> because I think you have a great attitude, a great energy, and, and I think uh, you have a great philosophy here. So we've been talking with, with Femi here about finding the right partner, three things that you need to know. And in those three things, we've been covering that it's important to pay attention to where you hang out. Uh, it's important to really pay attention to how you dress and present yourself. And then who you surround yourself with is the third point uh, in terms of, of, and if you combine these th- three things, what's going to happen, Femi? If we combine these get, three things. You're going to get the letter word, ooh, W-H-O, <laughs> W-H-O, ooh. So, I mean, it's very easy to remember. It's just an acronym, where you hang out, how you dress, out of all your friends, which one has the right image or which one is, has a better influence on you. Excellent. It's the who system. Yeah. Well, okay. Femi, if people want to get in touch with you, here's a couple of ways they can do it. You obviously have a website. It is gfemspeaks.com. So that's gfemspeaks.com. Your email is gfem at gfemspeaks.com if people want to reach out and connect with you directly. And you're also on social media. Your Facebook uh, handle is gfem. So if people just go to Facebook and search gfem, they will find you. I tested that. I know it works. And if you go to Twitter, you are at GFEM Radio uh, on Twitter. So these are all great ways that people can connect with you. They should connect with you. I think you can uh, really help them find the person of their dreams with these uh, this strategic approach. So, Femi, it's been great. I've had a, I've had a lot of fun talking with you. It's uh, it, you know I d- didn't know, know exactly what I was going to learn here, and I learned a ton. So <laughs> I appreciate you being our expert guest today here on Expert Showcase. Mark, thanks for having me. You guys are doing an amazing job. Thank you. And another great Expert Showcase episode. Chris, what should people do right now? Yeah, if you're watching this and you're a coach or consultant, imagine what it would do for you and your business if you were a guest on Experts Showcase. And here's the best part. Other than than possibly increasing your business, an appearance on Expert Showcase is free. We give you a copy of your episode so you can use as marketing collateral, and we give you a a coaching session to go along with it to, to tell you how you can best market your episode and other tips and tricks about your your business. So what you want to do is head on over to expertshowcase.com, click on the big yellow apply button and apply to be our next featured guest on the Expert Showcase. Now if you're a coach or consultant and you've already imagined what having your own internet talk show will do for you, then we want you to head to videocontent.agency 
and check us out check our packages out and get in contact with us let's see if we're a good fit and let's see if we're the ones to produce you and make you the next star and have your own internet talk show and until next time uh mark anything else i couldn't have said it any better so i uh, just do what he said <laughs>